I just uh, came from my flamenco practice session right over there in my living room. I videotaped it. <laughs> I thought I might uh, be good at dancing, but I have to admit it turned into a comedy. I have to accept that. My mother was a dancer. I'm not. Maybe I'm a comedian. Anyway, this video right now um, is about making homemade castanets. I, I saw some videos about it um, on YouTube and um, they didn't look very strong and, and they didn't make the nice sound that these make. What this is, is just the top of a, what kind of a thing is this? Oh, it looks like the top of a jelly jar and it's metal. And um, I made a hole in it, just, you know, hammering a nail in the center. And the hole goes through. And I have two of them I made. Now, this cord, stretchy cord here, it's hair ties. So I use two hair ties on each castanet. And um, I... I cut each hair tie and tied it together so, you know, two hair ties would make one longer hair tie. And I put a knot on each side, here and here. You have to kind of visually measure it so your finger or two fingers can fit on one side. And on the other half of the castanet, you know, you could have your thumb in there. Now, I'm not clinking, clacking uh, these sides together. That doesn't sound as good. But I'm, I'm using the inner part of the jar lid as percussion. So let me show you how it sounds. It fits very good. The ones I saw online were bottle caps and... Um, pieces of wood. This is very quick to make. Are you ready? I think this can last a long time because it's metal and if something happens with the hair tie, you know, they're very inexpensive. You could just put new ones in. You see? It's perfect for kids. For boomers, for anyone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm.